Hey, hey, Shakes, welcome back to Vampire's Melody. And uh, last time we had. Did. First, the. Uh, we. Okay, so. <laughs> what did I. Uh, anyways, um. Yeah, sorry about uploads. I can't upload this every day at the moment because, I mean, I can't, I think, right now. Because, uh, got sick stuff happened. Yeah, so last time that happened, we're talking about restaurant opening. I think we're at, we're living a good life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, already. Okay. Also, my voice in last time was really messed up because of said sickness. So, hopefully... That's right! Yeah, I can do it again! It's so terrible, I love it. Instead, he used to have more chefs compared to now. You probably... You probably cooked them up and make it a wushuang shuang shuang shuang. That's racist, Jace. But uh, the food you eat. Alright, let's do it then. We'll grab his chefs if it that doesn't work out. You're even more mean than Boss Wang. Oh, here's this soup. The waiter returns with another dish. It is some sort of seafood soup this time. Now that we finished talking about myself, what about you? What are your aspirations? I looked at Yellow, who can only watch me drink my soup. Sure. What else? Yeah, it tilts her head and turns to look at the curtains that are being blown gently by the way. <笑>人間が送る贅沢な暮らしも学んだわ。でも、なんて言うか。あ、それは自分の欲しいものじゃないって経験してみてわかったの。あ、そしてケースフォーラットピープ。ディズニーティング、え、ウィッチスタッフ
Mel looks at me and a gentle smile becomes broad. You're so happy that your boobs are bouncing. I've made up my mind. I will definitely protect this smiling future. How long is this game? <laughs> At this time, I seem to have heard the, the ominous sound of thunder from the sky. I look out the window to get an alarm to check out to the sky. There's thunder. I thought you were scared of Thor or something. Of Thorphobia. What? <laughs> the sky doesn't have any gray clouds and there are no signs that it is going to rain either. The evening sun is slowly disappearing among the skyscrapers. Eh, nothing. I just thought the gods decided to kill you <laughs> again. <laughs> it's probably just an ordinary thunderstorm without rain. After all, it's summer now, and the lightning from the heavens won't be so light. I can't take it anymore! <laughs> the exquisite set dinner for two people were given entirely to me. Oh, that's pretty much what happened. Close. What happened to me? <laughs> that's why I can't upload videos earlier. I thought it would be shameful to waste them. Yeah, take it from my Asian ass and take oh take the food home. <laughs> that was six hundred dollars. I could eat outside for one, no, three months. Uh, oh, give <laughs> get that was weak. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> that's okay. That's all. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I belched loudly. That wasn't loud, Jace. Not kidding. My like, stomach finally feels a little better. It's okay. If they just didn't have an eye. You don't know how digestion works, do you, Raylan? Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, Ali. We're still talking. We go to the balcony, a full moon is above us, and it's standing out from the surrounding stars. And Yella gets struck by lightning. Oh, that doesn't happen. Uh, so beautiful! The I'm pretty sure one of these dots is the moon, and they're talking about that. <laughs> the moon is more beautiful than the night. The night the, 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 that was the night when she flew. High up in the sky while holding me in her arms. Although I was in her air in the air at that time, my heart was as cold as the bottom of the sea. The air really feels so clean after a rain without thunderstorm. Tonight is different. I feel so happy I can fly up to the moon with Yella anytime. Yella, let's do that. And then the music cut off. Alright, it's just <laughs> Oh! So we're gonna get hit by- Are these stars? I thought what- Maybe it's just one of them is the moon. Where's the fucking moon, Yella? Where's the- <laughs> Stars? They would watch from the skies and strike down vampires? Just like hitting mice? What? How can they hit all of them? That's a burp. <laughs> Sorry about that, I burped right in front of your face. How can they hit all of them when there are so many vampires? It's almost like they're gods or something. Hmm. <laughs> this guy has so many beautiful stars, isn't it? Isn't it a bit excessive to use all of them to strike vampires? There aren't that many vampires either. The rest are for humans. They're just dormant, lying there. And once we finally hit the point where our sin are to the maximum, and the gods can no longer, uh, <laughs> can no longer be with us, they will all strike us down. Uh, sorry, maybe it's just a small part. Okay, which is which? What? Which? Uh, I just showed the stars and mind that special one, and yeah, follows my fingertip to save you. You can't do that when one one fourth of your eyes, one and fourth of your face is eyes. 
That's true. If that vampire could actually see which star delivered that lightning, he certainly wouldn't have met him. And they don't know that the best solution to this is just hide on is just hide under a tree or inside a tree, I guess. But I can't retrieve this bad star if the lightning really came from it. Just as I can't reach the sun for you. Even though I totally said it's I mean oh, okay, I thought I said that before. Look, Raylan. No one's having any hopes for anything of you. The only thing you're kind of good at is cooking. And when you went and when you met Chef Wang, he was like, huh, you're pretty basic at this. So no, you're not special. That's what Yell Trunk said. <laughs> Fine! Anyway, we have already dodged the lightning. We can take our shot to go away to the start of the future in my next 40 years of life. Yay! How long does it take before the lightning strikes again? Humanity has made great strides in technology. You might even fetch stars in a few decades time. Who knows? Let me tell you, Rayan. The answer is no. I came from the future. <laughs> You're 1960s, right? Yeah, I came from the future. They will, I mean, the moon? The moon. We can go there. Unless you can't believe the, 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 what do you call it, the conspiracy theory. You know, that's very popular conspiracy theory that when people landed on the moon, it was fake because there's no such thing as a moon. Like, idiots believe in the moon. I am more impressed by how your boobs bounce, like, bounce so much when you're just breathing. Like, they bounce even though you're just breathing. <sighs> yes, you didn't see the TV. We have already reached the moon! Oh yeah, that's 1960 something. Huh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to open your mouth so wide. I also gaped when I saw it on TV, but it wasn't as exaggerated as yours. Rocks! It was very anticlimactic, yes. <laughs> Didn't seem to have anything. It was an entirely gray landscape, and those humans went. Went to the moon, we're wearing baggy clothes, which look like especially clumsy. I'm pretty sure I know the difference between a drama and news. I don't know. I just learned how to use a television like last week. <laughs> no, I saw it. The host said it was a project. That's 1969, there we go. I'll see 1967, and a good thing I shut my mouth. Otherwise, I would have looked like an idiot. Wait. <laughs> that was that a superb project started quite a number of years ago, and they reached the moon back in 1969. Yay. Yeah, I can't imagine it at all! I don't want to make that joke! <laughs> Last night, you're... Not really, I'm more into cookery shows from the TV. A lot of cooking shows are boring, gotta be, just gotta say that out now. Very few are good. <laughs> it's just now I'm a chef. First of all, first of all, I think it's really cute that you actually want me to cook them for you all the time. <laughs> Ah, I'm a ruthless boss lady. I own the restaurant, not you. <laughs> I enjoy the cold summer wind while chatting about our daily lives. Escaping from people with guns. Yeah, being in the sewers. Escaping from the wrath of the gods. Ah, our daily lives seem so comfortable. I mean, it is now, but still. That just happened. I feel like you're blessed in this partly familiar world. Somehow. It felt as if this would be the most common occurrence for the next few decades of our lives. Finally, start a conversation and prepared to leave this comfortable balcony when time passed until it became late at night. The air temperature became colder and my stomach stopped aching. Isn't this the, like, the same? This is the one that struck the rat dead in Super's lungs? 